pardon me while I burst into this rant about how genuinely shitty mainstream media is, especially when it comes to sports. And I'm going to be honest, man. I'm a Seattle Seahawks fan. We lost Wild Card Weekend to the Rams by our own fault. I mean, I've even made a couple of videos saying that, hey, the Seahawks fucked up. You know, you got to take the L, and the Rams did fantastic. But the fucking problem with mainstream media is, unlike me, they're not honest. You might not like me. You might not like my opinions, but I'll be fucking straight up and honest about it. But when you listen to a cocksucker like Stephen A. Smith, Colin Cowherd, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, Marcellus Wiley, I Chew, I Chew, uh, Bitch Ass Nick Wright, Brandon Marshall, uh, the little cuck boy next to those two assholes. I mean, you name it, man. Any Anybody on CBS, anybody on Fox, anybody on ESPN, they're just fucking clowns because most of the times they just emote narratives for what? for viewership they don't bring up any sense uh, sensible arguments they don't actually bring up any sort of legitimate concerns about why a team lost I mean it's all emotional ramblings and bullshit like Stephen A. Smith is the fucking PhD in that shit alright this motherfucker does the most I would say sermon-like shit when it comes to talking sports. Like he will fucking gravitate towards your uh, sense of getting riled up. Like mean, he'll he'll fucking pinch that shit by the balls, and he expects you to react and and get some sort of shit going. But motherfucker, genjutsu of that level does not work on me. And when I see Stephen A. Smith just talking nonsense about the Steelers, Ooh, Mike Tomlin, terrible towel, it's all good. I'm like, no, dude, you, you just sound like a basic-ass fan who probably saw highlights of the game and didn't watch throughout the course of the season that the Steelers were absolutely fucking terrible in terms of their trajectory towards the latter half of the season going into the playoffs. And you could see it after week, what, fucking five? I mean, I've been calling this shit for a while. It's not a fucking thing to pat myself on the back. Far from it. I'm just saying, hey, listen, I have the receipts. Go fucking back to the page. Piggy skin picks. Every goddamn week, I was calling out the Steelers. I was. I said there's a lot of inconsistency there. There's a lot of, I don't know, uh, overvaluing yourself. There's a lot of uh, overestimating your abilities whilst underestimating your opponent's abilities. And I think that's going to bite them in the ass, whether it be in the regular season or the post in the postseason. I've said that. I've said that many fucking times. And lo and behold, it happens. And listen, I mean, you are going to have the fucking salty fans come in and, and lay their opinions. And I get that. This is part of the fucking idea of, you know, uh, free speech, you know, for a marketplace of ideas. You can say whatever the fuck you want. And be ready for the consequences of the salt and vitriol and, and the ignorant pissants who will defend the Steelers and not recognize that they were ass and just take the fucking L. Like, be a humble loser, bitch. All right? But, man, oh, man. I mean, I, you can't teach uh, discipline and respect to fans. You can't. Because... I want to say a majority, but a, but a good chunk of fandom anywhere has just the stupid people. I mean, I, th I think that goes into any tribe, you know, historically or even in sports, right? But this is where I, I would recommend to everybody, you know, seek out good content yeah. creators. I mean, I, I don't recommend myself <laughs> ever. I always recommend everybody else. Uh, anybody else who is actually of note and worth um, their salt and knowledge. Uh, Chisel the Donis is an absolutely sensational uh, Steelers reviewer. Uh, his rant yesterday post game was fantastic. I thought he laid out a lot of the emotional gripes against the team, but simultaneously laid out a lot of the football flaws the team has been showing throughout the season. Uh, Quantrill Bishop for the Cleveland Browns, very emotional guy, of course, but 
he, he even admits to it. Like, I mean, that, that's the thing. Even, even if you're a, an emotional roller coaster ride with your team, man, I mean, if you're honest, if, if you can just tell me that, hey, straight up, like, my team is ass at times, but hey, I, I love them. Cool. Like, I, I fuck with you, but yeah, nah, man. Mainstream media shit, it, it always, it always tries to create extremist arguments, um, create this false idea of left and right, whether it be politics, sports, whatever have you, and they capitalize off of it. But it's, it's up to you guys to just, you know, go fucking find actual fucking answers. Watch the tape. Watch the tape. Because there's no fucking way for, again, almost 10 plus fucking weeks. You cannot fucking tell me the Steelers were great. Like They were winning games, sure, marginally, and to really shitty opponents, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep keep ignoring all the fucking traces of how we got here. Keep keep doing that shit. Keep doing this Orwellian future shit with sports too. Because my god, man. If you keep living in that fucking denial, especially if you're a Steelers fan right now, if you keep living in that fucking denial that your team is in desperate need of rehashing, retooling, you're in another world, my son. This is the fucking thing that always irritates me, too. Like, don't fucking twist this shit back. Don't fucking project. Don't fucking deflect. Because I, as a fucking Seahawks fan, know our goddamn team's flaws. Pete Carroll's extension was a fucking mistake. Brian Schottenheimer, I have no fucking idea what the fuck you're doing in there. Ken Norton Jr., honestly, that was my mistake. You might be the only <laughs> you might be the only consistent fucking thing on this squad that's actually good. Uh, Russell Wilson needs to really revamp his philosophy. Uh, we need to really go back to our running game. Uh, offensive line needs some sort of... Hey! Offensive line needs some sort of uh, investment. I mean, some sort of fucking funding. I mean, you you really think uh, trotting out Dwayne Brown, a rookie, Damian Lewis, and motherfucking Ethan Pochich, and, and over the hill, Mike Upati, and fucking bloody Brandon Shell, you think that's going to get you anywhere? And get, get some fucking tight ends. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? So, yeah, that's how fucking honest I am about my Seahawks. So, if I can do that, can you motherfuckers do that with your team? Bitch ass.